So here we are at the airport. Our flight to um, Frankfurt. Frank. Oh yeah, we're flying to Frankfurt. Not today. Tomorrow morning. Today we've decided to stay at the Bavarian Hotel, formerly the Hilton Hotel, the Copenhagen Airport. So let's make our way down there. That's a passage which is covered and goes all the way to the Claren Hotel, connects the airport. And we're almost there. We here, Amaro. A lovely Christmas tree. It's looking really, really cozy here. We were at this hotel a few years back when it was the Hilton. It was lovely then and it looks lovely now too. Just making our way to the room. We found out that we got an upgrade to a deluxe room on the 11th floor. Just before I make my way over to the lift where Maro is standing, let's just have a look up straight above us. It's actually a very beautiful open plan hotel. So I'm not here alone. Oh, <laughs> here I come. Hello there, viewers. There I am. That's me in the mirror. Mano is just uh, sending us up to the 11th floor. This is how high up we are. I'm not zoomed in at all. We're on the 11th floor, as I mentioned before. And still very arty. The hotel on the floors, as it was when it was a Hilton. Which way is it? Yeah, one, one, three, four. Down there in the end, you can see the runway lights. Maro standing here, ready to walk so for the walking me. scene to the west wing. Shall we? Indeed, we shall. Oh. Let's see if Maro can figure this out. Yes. Put the light switch in. And there we go. Looks like some bottles waiting. Nice water. Oh, little snacks there too. Oh. Some waters and some snacks. Oh, that's a nice looking room. Oi. Looks absolutely lovely. Oh, how awesome is this? The little towels. Look at the view. So, Amaro, are you satisfied? Oh, I am. It's looking it's really lovely. nice. Just look at the view here. Here we have the airport out there. Should I put the lights on? Maybe you will see better outside. Oh, we can do that just now. There's a lovely little corner couch here in the corner. Obviously in the corner. Corner couch. It's the bed. Very Scandinavian designed room. Very light furnitures. I like that person here. Yeah. Nice little desk. Television. Maro here. And I don't know if this is standard or whether it's part of our upgrade, but we got some bottled water and some chocolates. It's a nice little welcome. See, there's not really amenities, they're rather bottled up in here. I suppose that's the way many hotels are going nowadays. There's a bit of saving of money, economical. Good to see a weight down there. And down here we have the bath area. Just behind me there's also a shower. Also with amenities on the, on the wall. It's a nice white fluffy bath towels. So where are we going now? Don't think we're going to cheat ourselves from Burger King just because we're staying at the Clarion. Burger King's just down there. If Maro will follow me with the camera. Might be a little bit dark so it'll be a little bit grainy the picture. But we're heading down to Burger King. No journey starts without Burger King unless of course there's time for the lounge. But see you down by Burger King in a moment. We're heading into the airport again, going down to Burger King. I'm going to film so much from here, we'll do that tomorrow morning when we catch our Lufthansa flight to Frankfurt. So no one's going to cheat us from our Burger King. It is only when we travel we go to Burger King. We're allowed to be a little bit 
adventurous. Okay, it's not quite adventurous, but we quite enjoy it, both of us. Yes. Nothing wrong with Burger King people. Just don't do it all the time. Double Whopper for Maxi. And uh, for Mario. So let's eat. Just my turn to be filmed. I don't really have anything to say. I'm enjoying this very good burger. And looking forward to flying to Frankfurt tomorrow. So you can talk to you. show the burger. And there we go. Okay, it's, does it look like the advert? Not really. But it still looks good. And it's flame grilled as you can see. If it's focusing there. So I'm going to enjoy this in a moment. I have a ritual, I eat my chips first always, and I eat the burger, the best part. And before we continue with this gourmet dinner, let's just have a look at Maro's Chicken Royale. She's also told me to start with those chips. I was looking inside. Can you open the bun a little bit? Tilt it down a bit. That's it. That was chicken royale. I forgot to mention the price. I have a Copenhagen Airport discount card which gives me about 10% off this. And uh, two meals with a little bit of extra chips or mayonnaise, ketchup. We pay for, for that in this country. It cost us 153 Danish crowns. Just finished our Burger King. It's really good. It's going to be out over the airport here. It's rather busy. Christmas is just around the corner. Christmas is on Sunday in Scandinavia. And we'll see this airport again tomorrow morning after we've had breakfast at the hotel and checked out. Oh, comfy. <laughs> and now it's time to relax with a glass of sparkling wine. And it doesn't have to cost a fortune. We bought this from home and we borrowed two glasses from downstairs. So cheers, cheers. to you all. And for you too. I think I'll say cheers to you after. I'll say cheers to the viewers. Okay. I'm gonna wish them all a Merry Christmas and all the best for next year. And then of course Maro. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, happy holidays. Yeah, and here's to a good flight tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see you well probably for breakfast after this, unless we sneak another scene in somewhere along the way. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Now it's time for breakfast. There's not so many people here so early. Thank it's you. about quarter past eight. Mm -hmm. Nice cold cuts here and everything. So many choices. So, start a breakfast with some yogurt. Yogurt and some muesli and dry fruits. It's always good for your stomach. It's a nice looking roast broth, yeah. Next I'm going for some scrambled eggs and bacon. Now I was having a omelette made, which will be brought to the table. And I get this down there in the corner. Mm. I just got my omelette. Morning in Italy. With the fresh basil, tomato, spring leeks, parmesan. You give us a thumbs up there. You better do it again. I think I missed that. There you go. She gave a thumbs up. Just say the service is really good. And the waiters and waitresses and staff here at the yeah. breakfast area are very courteous and polite. It's daylight now, and this is the view from the from outside our room out in the hallway. You can see Thai Airways down there to the left, and Singapore Airlines also. Just over to the right, there's a Finnair Airbus leaving for Helsinki. Of course, that's Maro's home airline. Down there we have the airport. We will be going in about an hour or two to check in for our flight to Frankfurt with Lufthansa. Now we're making our way over to the airport after a lovely stay at the Copenhagen Clarion Hotel. Just waiting for our flight to come on the board here. We can see which one, or which gate it will be leaving from. And there it is there, our Lufthansa flight, LH827 to Frankfurt, leaving at 12.45 today. No gate yet. No gate yet. So lead the way, Maro. Here we are back at the airport again. Now it's time to fly. 
it's the 23rd, the day before Christmas. And there's quite a lot of people here, you can see already. And I was just down there at the end, trying to find in our check-in gate number, check-in desk number, it's called. Mara is just putting her eyes on. <laughs> and we're going to be checking in at the machine here on Lufthansa because apparently you can't check in at the desks anymore. We want you to check in and be sure that we can get our boarding pass from Copenhagen via Frankfurt all the way to Phuket. But apparently we can't do that, so we're going to have to do it ourselves. And we're hoping we can check our luggage through all the way and get our seats for our Phuket flight. We've pre-booked our flights for our two Lufthansa flights already. So let's see. It's a bit of a... Yeah. That's a good service. Hopefully we get all the boarding passes also, so we don't have to hassle with that in uh, Frankfurt. Exactly. Okay. So now we're waiting here to check in at this counter. Check in support because the automatic ticket machine wouldn't accept our tickets. So we had success. We got checked in at the desk. Now we must take our baggages to gates 31 to 38 and do a self-baggage check-in. We did get all our boarding passes from Copenhagen all the way to Phuket. Okay. And the good news is we even have window seats on our Bangkok flight, which is Bangkok to Phuket flight, which is fully booked. I was very busy there. Yes. Mm. And that's all the way to Phuket, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Marlo's checking it all the way to Phuket. There goes the bag. Hi. Marlo's looking ready there. Ready to go upstairs. And as usual, before we pass security, a quick view over the check-in area of Copenhagen Airport. This was the area we checked in today for our Lufthansa flight. Always lovely to be here when the Christmas tree is here. Winter time and you know you're heading down for some sunshine. And Maro's leading the way down to security. Today we're flying Lufthansa, so I don't think we have to buy any waters or anything. It's complimentary on those flights normally. Hello there. I think this is the first time we're showing ourselves on the video for today. We are up in the departure lounge. Does Maro have anything to say today? Very excited to travel again, that's for sure. We've been waiting Always. for our winter holidays. That's yet quite a lot more to, say, more to say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you. We're just going to walk around the airport, show you around a little bit. We're going to head over to that area over there and have a look out on the, on the, what do we call it, on the apron. See if there are any planes to look at. Should we go over? Yes. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Are they still with us? Yeah. yeah? Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and we're back in the position. We started the journey. There comes one, looks like a SAS aircraft, and one Air Serbia. And in it comes. Look at this. A330. water after all so she's somewhere down there in that hustle and bustle paying for the water. And 10 krona for a bottle of water. And I was just getting a few Instagrammers here. Maybe a Facebooker. A lovely Christmas tree. Standing outside our waiting for our flight gate to be announced. What did we forget? I must go to change bats. Almost forgot to change bets, <laughs> not change money, the currency exchange, so off we go. Change a little bit up here again. The restaurant's been moved around over there to the left. There's Mahalo straight ahead in the center of the future. She found her way to the bank for currency exchange. See up there on the board and our gate has now been announced. I've got my glasses on as usual. I'm zooming, I can't see in this plane, now I can see it. We are at gate B5 with the Lufthansa flight. As I've repeated multiple times now, so I better stop repeating that. What are you repeating again? I'm just telling the gate. No wait, I'm not repeating that multiple times. What? What I'm repeating again? Now I'm confused. I'm repeating that we were the Lufthansa flight continuously. I think everybody knows we're flying Lufthansa, don't they? By now they should. Okay, I'll try not to say it again. <laughs> the time is now 25 past 11 on the trusty Pulsar watch. Oh, don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> and uh, rather than go down to the gate now, which is a little bit boring, that area, so much time left, we're going to take all the walk along around the airport. So let's do that.
very quiet down in this end. Normally we go to the lounge over here. It's upstairs. Highly recommended if you're in Copenhagen Airport. It costs about 169 kroner. But uh, we've got a flight in about an hour, so it's not worthwhile going there now. But thumbs up to Copenhagen Lounge. It's very good. So here we are at the B gate. So I'm going to head all the way down there to do it. And if you need a meal on the way, a meal in the flight, you can do this grab and fly meal. That's my right. Down there at the end, there's gate B5. Right down there where that whole group of people are. Just catching a few shots here. It's a good Instagram also. Might I'll get some good ones on the camera. I'm heading over to our own gate, gate B5 over there. A lot of people are already arrived here at the gates. Not the biggest lounge here, but then again, it's probably not the biggest plane either. As far as I remember, it's an Airbus A320. Got some seats here by the counter, and we can also charge our phones. The aircraft just arrived. The passengers are still disembarked. The time is now about 17 minutes past 12 and we're due to leave at 12.45. And there we have today's plane. Lufthansa Airbus A320 Neo. And boarding has begun. We're boarding our Airbus A320 Neo. I was supposed to say that. <laughs> Notice how Maro just chirped in there as quickly as possible. We're boarding, as we said, the Airbus A320. And on we go. And Maro's boarding over there. Hello, Hello it's here. Hi there. And Maro lead the way down through the aircraft. Down to... Yeah, this side. Oh, on that side. Oh, we E and F. Yeah, there to the left. 21 E and F. So right down to the end. Nice looking seats. Very thin looking seats, I can say. Can you hear me? Yes. Are we getting there? And this is the first, so far so good, first stage of the flight. Favorite leather seats. I don't enjoy those leather seats. I prefer the fabric seats. They're much nicer normally. And we are up in 21 E and F. It's our seats over here. Here we have the first view through the window today. It actually looks like a very good window view and I can really rest my arm in the armrest for the takeoff. And as mentioned, by Maro, before I could say anything, today's plane is an Airbus A320 Neo. I'm not sure if it says so on this safety instruction or not. We'll have a look at that later. We're ready to fly? Yes. We're ready to fly. So we'll see you. Well, every now and again we'll show our faces, if you don't mind. And now I just connected the microphone so we can have a quick look at the leg room and the aircraft. It, my knees are almost up against the seat but not touching. It's not that much space for somebody over six foot. Maro has got plenty of leg room as usual, flying with her black, her black flying pants. White jerseys with us. But uh, me on the other hand, I've got a new flying top. I flip this around. We're going Adidas today. So I'm just wondering whether the mic over here is going to work properly and get the sound. See, loading is in full progress still. We've just heard that the flight is almost fully booked. So I'm not sure how many times we'll show us in the picture because there'll be somebody sitting next to us just over here. There's a seat next to us. Now we're just waiting for our vice beer. Yeah, one vice beer each. You feel like beer today? Yeah. Okay, it'll be two vice beers then, and probably a little pretzel. Plane still boarding. We're supposed to leave at 12.45, and the time now is actually around about 12.49. A little bit delayed. 
we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Frankfurt, we're going to be there till 9 o'clock tonight. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain speaking. My name is Holger Fietz. We have the entire crew. I would like to welcome you on board our Airbus A320 on our flight to Frankfurt. Flight time to be one hour. Please fix it, fetch your mobile phones and all other devices with transmission function are either switched to flight mode or switched off complete meters. So we're on our way. Which bag has begun? Support, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we now like to acquaint you with our safety procedures. Already moving forward. Just listening to the safety demo here. We're on our way. Benefit any children. And open the window Just to give you a different view for a change. What's another Lufthansa? It's probably heading for Munich. Flaps are down and the test in the ailerons also. A few pre flight checks. And we're starting to move again. Just passing our pushback tug there. And off we go out to the runway. And the runway today will be the one that goes past Flugerkrill, where we used to go plane spotting. So as I remember, it's called Runway 23 Right. Down there by the edge of the wing, you can see the Iceland there, Boeing 757. Actually, I think it looks like a Boeing 767, if I'm not mistaken, from here. Am I correct? Let me know down in the comments. So out there in the distance, just behind the tip of the wing, there are a few private jets. Shouldn't be too long before we take off now. We're very close to the runway. Just passing the... Sorry, it was runway 22 right we're taking from taking off from, not runway 23 right. 22 right and we're going to be taking off right now. Here we go already. That's the Nave air traffic control tower. Straight ahead, it is used for training. Here we go. We didn't have to wait long for that takeoff. Speeding along the runway, it's quite a cloudy day today, so by the time we get up again, take long before visibility will be zero until we come through the cloud and see the sun again but let's go i'll be quiet until we rotate oh sorry rotate there we go that was very quick it's quite a windy day today what do you say you can feel the wind we're in the air it's not raining today very overcast and very windy View. Here come the clouds already, and we're in the clouds. Gonna get bumpy now, I think. Are you feeling the bounce? It's quite windy here. Indeed. Right, like, like now? It's my favorite part of flying is when it's a cloudy day and you pop out through the clouds and you see the sun. The time is now, if I can get the reflection away, about seven minutes past one on my watch. We were supposed to leave at 12.45, so a little bit of a delay, about 20 minutes delay. But we're now on our way to our destination, which of course is, should I say it again? Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Seatbelt signs are still on as we climb to our cruising altitude. Seatbelt signs off now, no one's gotten up yet. Just have a look at the equipment on the ceiling. Nice to see on this aircraft that we have a personal fan for each passenger. There's also a personal reading light and then there's a, let me get it right this time, they're not called stewardesses anymore, they're called cabin crew members. So there's a cabin crew button to call the cabin crew if you need assistance with anything during the flight. Interesting to note that there on the, the winglet there's actually a warning light blinking there. I think 
that's the first time I've seen that. Captain Crew is already bringing out some snacks and drinks, it looks like. And now that we're in there, I better quickly show off the seat in front of me and show what's going on. Let's have a look at the tray table first. It's a rather small tray table. This is about as far back as I can get for the shot. It's a little latch, as you can see. Bring it down. You can actually see the magazines from the little magazine holder, which is very practical instead of having to squeeze them down to the, the hatch or net that's normally provided. And here we have the table. There's two cup holders, one on each side. It's not a fold-over table. Short-haul flights are seldom fold-over tables. But it does move back and forward to accommodate what's become quite a big stomach nowadays for these in-flight meals I've been tasting. And soon we're going to make some food videos also. So just watch. Watch this space for growth. You're not complaining, are you, Manu? <laughs> there we go, over. Close the latch with the finger, one touch. There's a nice little net down there that I was talking about. Ideal for water, or as Mano has, a mobile phone, a bottle of water, and her glasses. Very convenient. Let's quickly show you the safety card. They, before they bring the drinks around, and if there's a snack, I'm not sure, it'll be a surprise if there is a snack also. Here's the safety card for the Airbus A320-200. As mentioned, it is a NEO, we're on board, it says outside on the aircraft that it's a NEO. And that's what the safety card looks like for this aircraft. Hope I'm not going too fast. And these are the emergency exits for this type of aircraft. Very neat in-flight safety card and very nice to see so many icons explaining. There's less text, more icons, so people who don't speak English, for example, can also follow the instructions easily. It looks like we are getting a snack, so let's just have a look out the window after this safety card presentation. And then we'll have a drink and a little snack, and then I'll show you the magazines after that. These two passengers waiting for their meal, tables down, ready. Isn't it nice to have this kind of service on board? It's very appreciated. We just got a little chicken sandwich. Doesn't look that exciting, but I'm not going to complain. It's better than nothing, and it's a thought that counts. It's a nice looking chicken sandwich. Let's have a look at mine. It's like a chicken and carrot sandwich, and it looks like a mayonnaise in there also. And Maro has my Lufthansa serviette, which you could bring and over on the table if you're so kind. So we get that in also. With the logo the right way. It's ice cold, this sandwich. Which is not a problem either. As you can hear, I'm not much of a complainer. I'm just thrilled to get my sandwich. Sunflower bread with grilled chicken. And now it's also time for one of our little language competitions Mara and I like to have. As we're on a German flight, we have to pronounce the name of this sandwich in German. So I'll go first. Here we go, it's called Weissen Missbrut mit Sonnenblumenkernen, Hachen Grillbraten und Ramolel Danische Art. I don't think that's German. So, it's turn. Sonnenblumenbrat mit Hach. Oh, not so easy as that French was back in uh, France, was it? Hach and Grillbraten. It's quite difficult, the German language. Yeah. We're back in the clouds again. Just waiting for our drinks before we have our sandwich. Okay, hopefully you can see me and I'm not too dark with the light background out the windows, but. I'm not going to wait for the drink because I want to show this sandwich to you before the, well, before the flight ends. It's not a very long flight. Here we have the sandwich and some kind of a rye bread. You can have a look there. There's a chicken, like a cold chicken cold cut, not chicken pieces. And it's like a ramoule, yeah. a sandwich relish spread. Looks fine to me. I'll just have a quick bite. Mm. Good, 
crunchy. Nice to have with a drink. Nice to have with a, as a little snack. I'd rather have had lettuce than carrot. I'm sorry I'm messing everywhere. I think the lettuce would have fitted better with this, but I suppose it goes with the relish. Good for your eyes. But uh, thumbs up to Lufthansa for still providing snacks and drinks. Very much appreciated. Oh. We're just waiting for the drinks to make it down in our direction. And for those of you who are interested to know, I can say that this serviette is 100% recycled. It's almost our turn to be served now. And once again I can feel a bit of turbulence. So we're going to have to hold on to our glasses. And the drinks wagon is just here next to us. So we just got the beer. I got a Warsteiner Das Einzig Bar premium beer, quality from Germany. But I'm going to be enjoying that right now. Mara just got hers. She's putting it safely down there in the seat. Yeah, are you happy? Cheers. Normally when, you, normally when you say cheers, you drink. Cheers. She's still not drinking. Prost. Mara stand for the sandwich, the patient won. Let's hear what she thinks of it. It's not, it's not any masterpiece, but do you agree with me that it could have been better with carrot rather than, than uh, lettuce? Yeah, that's what I meant, exactly. I like the carrot. Yeah? The aroma is nice with that. Is that what you got? Uh, Maro had one thing she wanted to add. What was that? Das ist gut. Das ist was? Gut. Yeah, das was gut. If I'm not mistaken, it feels like we're already descending down towards Frankfurt. The cabin crew member just confirmed that we have begun our descent. No. You know what that means, Maro? Better hurry up and finish our beers. Okay. Skull. Cool. <laughs> nice sharp bank to the right. As we begin our approach, it seems this flight's gone very quickly or they start their approach procedures very early. The time now on the on the trusty Okay on time now on the watch. Thank you Maro for opening up my sleeve. The time is about what is it? Eight minutes to two. We've been up 45 minutes only. Yeah, so a very quick flight into Frankfurt. Captain crew members giving some gate information. I have information for our guests with connecting flight Lufthansa 190 to Berlin. There has been a gate change. The new gate now is our A13 and our arrival gate in Frankfurt is supposed to be A19. Oops, I forgot to show you the magazine, so I better do this while we're on, on approach. Lufthansa magazine, doesn't really have a name as far as I can see, but it's called Lufthansa magazine. Oh, sorry, Lufthansa magazine. Oh, let me just skim through it very quickly. It'll be a very quick skim, just to give you an idea of what this magazine looks like. As I always say, it's full of articles. Always very lovely images in these onboard magazines and uh, it applies to this magazine too. That was the in-flight magazine for Lufthansa and I better not forget the in-flight uh, duty-free magazine which they call the Xmas, well it's not called Xmas special but an X Xmas special magazine. Probably special prices for Christmas shopping. And there's some luggage and toys and alcoholic beverages. There's actually quite a lot of homely things on this Big things. Big things. Big things. And um, where would you fetch them? Maybe they are available in the airport. If anybody knows how th these items are distributed, if you buy them, please let us know in the comments below. Still descending and coming close to the clouds again. Flap just came down. Been an exceptionally quick flight. I just got a first glimpse of the 
city below us, or at least the residential areas, suburbs of Frankfurt. Just about to dive into the clouds now. Here they come, and we in. As we're in the clouds now, it's quickly gotten dark in the cabin also. And there we have the first glimpse of the city down below us. Landing gear down. Feel it going out. You can hear Mano opening a switch. He's about to pop that in my mouth. Oh, thank you. And then we have, look, beautiful view of Frankfurt. Look at that, it's magnificent. A few more clouds. That was a very quick flight. Yeah. Not even uh, look at that. Oh, well, all together. And there's a river down there, if anybody knows what the river is called. Once again, please, please do write it down in the comments. It's always nice hearing from our viewers. Quite a forest down below us. And we're almost there now. The airport freight companies probably have their distribution centers down here, it looks like it. Getting lower and I can see the first piece of the airport. Here we are at Frankfurt Airport, coming down very quickly. A couple of seconds time and we are down. Exactly one hour. No, it's one. We'll have a look at the trusted watch in a moment. See what the time is. And that was a very, very nice flight. Good experience. Most enjoyable. Turning off the main runway. Is it one hour behind? I'm not sure. Spoilers down. And the time, if Maro, I'll just pull my sleeve up. Time is two minutes past two. And we were supposed to leave at 12.45. We left a little bit later. So it was, I said, very quick. Follow some of the taxi towards the terminal. On behalf of Captain Fietz and the entire crew, I would like to thank you for flying with Lufthansa Starlines. Please take care when you open the overhead storage bins as items to check the seat pockets at your seat for any personal belongings. Yeah, we're on the fire station, Frankfurt Fire Station. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Those look like thank you and training goodbye. areas over there, those containers. There's a fire training aircraft. <coughs> a lot of airplanes, there's even a helicopter over there to train with. If I'm not mistaken, that's the, one of the MD-80s over there. I, mean, I, I think they were called MD-80s, now I don't remember suddenly. The Lufthansa cargo plane. And it does look like it's going to be, there's one jumbo taking off. Picture now. It does look like it's going to be an apron disembarkation. Aero Logic 777. There's an A380 that we're going to yeah. be flying on later on. Lufthansa Airbus A380. It's South African Airlines, the one. Oh, I think it's Air Namibia. Huh? Air Namibia. Oh. Oh, you're right. Over there to the left is South African yeah, Airways. Yeah, thought. yeah. Over to the right is Air Namibia. Just zoom in a bit so we can have a look at that South African Airways, what it looks like an Airbus A340 from here. Yeah, Was that a Dreamliner? I just saw it through the viewfinder. Oh. No, it's going to be interesting whether it's a gate, arrival, or a Apron arrival. It looks like Vietnam Airlines straight ahead. 
last year at this time we were in Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. We didn't fly with Vietnam Airlines, we flew with Korean Airways via Incheon Airport in Seoul. That looked to me like a dreamliner over there. That is the Vietnam Airlines and here we have Frankfurt Airport. As we turn in towards our gate area and we're going to be spending the next, what are we spending, eight, nine hours here? We are having a gate arrival. Good for that. We have plenty of time, so we're not in any hurry. No, not at all. So, hope you enjoyed flying with us. If you did, please leave us a like down below. Please share the video if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. We're not going to end it here. We're just going to walk out the plane first of all. And then the flight will continue. And watch part two of the video to see where that flight goes to. And with what oil I gave it away. It will be an Airbus A380 we're going to be flying with. And we're ready to go soon. Two happy passengers here. Two happy passengers. One thing we're sorry for, we didn't make it down to the toilet to show the, the lavatories what they look like, but that's because it was such a short flight. It actually yeah. went very, very quickly. Short. Amazingly short. But uh, yeah, we'll see you again when we start disembarking this aircraft and do the walkout, and then you'll hear the music, so we'll be coming to the end of the video soon. And we're disembarking the aircraft. This was a fantastic flight as we go out. Aircraft. Bye -bye. Great service, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you very much. You. Excellent service, thank you very much. Bye bye. And Mano's leading the way, as usual. And at this point, thanks for flying with us, I'm going to say. The music is going to start now. And we're going to start another video, the transit at Frankfurt Airport.